President Trump claims this memo totally vindicates him. Joining me now is Democratic Congresswoman Karen Bass of California. Representative, thanks so much for being with us. Let me read you the president's statement over the weekend about this. This memo totally vindicates Trump, and he puts that in quotation marks, in probe. But the Russian witch hunt goes on and on. There was no collusion. There was no obstruction, the word now used, because after one year of looking endlessly and finding nothing, collusion is dead. This is an American disgrace. Does this memo totally vindicate him? No, I don't think it does at all, but I think his tweet shows the purpose of the memo. I think the memo is an attempt to vindicate him. You have even leading Republican Trey Gowdy saying that it doesn't vindicate him. I, I think that it's really uh, kind of pathetic that he would actually do that. And it, it actually exposes uh, my Republican colleagues for what they were really up to, which is doing his bidding. And that's the part that, frankly, confuses me as to why they would put their reputations on the line for something that is so obvious. Absolutely right. Trey Gowdy says this memo does not totally vindicate him in the Russia investigation. But Trey Gowdy also thinks this memo is important. He thinks it raises important questions about the FISA process. Specifically, he thinks that the FISA judges were not told that the Steele dossier was funded specifically by the Clinton campaign and the Democratic National Committee. Should these judges have been told that? Well, you know, from what I believe, and you know, I'm not on the Intel Committee, but I believe that they actually were told. But let's just say But they say were told, they, hang on, they were told, they were, uh -huh. uh, we, think, we think they were told there was a political connection to the Steele dossier, which is materially different than funded by the Clinton campaign or by the Democrats, correct? Okay, let's just say for a minute they weren't told. The fact of the matter is, is that the FISA warrant was issued multiple times. Mm -hmm. And you know that every time you go before those judges, who were all appointed by the Republican Chief Justice, by the way, when you go before those judges, you have to show that the first 90 days that you had the warrant, that you actually produced something. So even if that was the case, and I don't believe it was, that still does not say that the FISA warrant shouldn't, be, shouldn't have been issued. And they were also different judges that they went before. Mm -hmm. And it's the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court who was appointed by a Republican who appointed the FISA judges. So I don't think there's any there there. Michael Mukasey, who was the Attorney General uh, under George W. Bush, put in an op-ed over the weekend of the Wall Street Journal where he would like to see the redacted FISA request from uh, prosecutors. Is this something that you would be okay with releasing? Well, I, I, I don't know whether I would or not, but what I will tell you, though, is that serving on the Judi Judiciary Committee, we have made attempts, but the Republicans have shut it down. We've made attempts to have a review, to hear from the FBI, and uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens this week, whether or not the Republicans will reconsider, because the Judiciary Committee should be a part of this whole process. You, you say you're not sure whether the FISA warrant should... Uh, should be released. Why not? I mean, if it, if it can be redacted so that secrets are, are not revealed, should the American people see it? Well, I would have to see the underlying evidence. Mm -hmm. Now, maybe they should, maybe they shouldn't, but it's difficult for me to see when I haven't even seen the underlying documents. But that is something that our committee should review. The, the ranking member of your committee, Jerry Nadler, has suggested that Republicans, House Republicans, are trying to obstruct the work of the special counsel. Obstruct the work of an investigation, obstruction of justice would, would be a crime. Do you think Republicans are committing a crime? Well, I don't think that the memo is actually saying that. It definitely says that the Republicans are complicit. And to me, the fact, all of the drama that they produced around this memo, mm -hmm. I think absolutely demonstrates that. I don't think that there's much to the memo. They said it was going to be some big, huge document. And uh, why did they go to this effort? And then when the president tweets that, the day the memo comes out, what more do you need? I think the president was crystal clear. And I think that especially Chairman Nunes is doing his bidding. Let me read you something the president just said, because it's interesting. And it's more on this point of what you were just talking about. He says, little Adam Schiff, and he's talking about the ranking member yeah. of the House Intelligence Committee. Little, little Adam Schiff who is desperate to run for higher office, is one of the biggest liars and leakers in Washington, right up there with Comey, Warner, Brennan, and Clapper. Adam leaves closed committee hearings to illegally leak confidential information. Must be stopped.
This is the president of the United States. I, I mean, it, this is just an embarrassment. It's an embarrassment on the international stage. And I think that he is showing exactly what the purpose of the memo is. And so now, and I'll tell you, the one thing that confuses me, though, is that I don't understand why the Republican leadership would put their reputations on the line to defend him in this manner. We all understand what the president is doing, but why would they back this up? And have they decided that their policy agenda of, of uh, privatizing Social Security, having Medicare be vouchers, cutting Medicaid, that's more important? that they're willing to go along with this president in this manner? I, I just don't understand that. Why would they sully their reputation? Representative Karen Bass will have a chance to see uh, what the Republicans do if they allow the Democratic memo to be released over the next several days. Representative, thanks so much for being with us. Appreciate it. Thank you. Allison?